Good morning, my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights. I hope that you are doing super well today. And what we're going to do today is we're going to look at you and your person and we're going to do their thoughts versus their feelings for you. OK, their thoughts versus your, their feelings. So I've got two decks from you to for two decks for you to pick from. Could not get my words out then. Um, because we're going into Samhain season, I'm going more with the kind of uh, veil thinning decks. So the first deck over here is brand new. I haven't used it yet. Um, and this is Tarot of the Sorceress, which is just very me um, at this point in time. So that's deck number one. And deck number two is the Santa Muerte Tarot, okay? Um, number one, number two. So pick the deck that you are most drawn to and we will get cracking. I took it off cinematic mode this week so you can actually see the decks. It's a thing like, I don't know if any of you guys have got um, an iPhone. Mine's an iPhone Pro Max. It's like a 13. And when I try and zoom on things, everything goes dead blurry. It's just a really weird phone. I'm not very keen on it. I wish I kept my old one, but I've had this one for like a year now. Um, so yeah, it just makes the camera's just a bit weird on it. Um, I took it to the Apple shop and they were like, oh, we fixed it, but it didn't work. So yeah, that's my iPhone. Okay, let's get cracking. Deck number one. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on and skipped to number one, we are doing their thoughts versus their feelings for you. Um, updates that I've got. If you haven't checked out my other channel for the weekly podcast, I'm doing a podcast on there, uh, which is doing free weekly tarot and astrology readings every Monday. Um, and that's just at Mystical Moonday Music. Moonday because it's Monday and Monday is ruled by the moon. Um, with my darling friend, collaborator, collaborator and co-host. Um, so yeah, you'll enjoy that. And if you need me for private readings, I do do same day voice returns at the moment on Instagram and Facebook and uh, I've got spaces for videos. So just drop me a message. I'll put all the deets in the description for you so you can find it. Okay, let's look at your person's thoughts. Let me concentrate for two seconds. So I'm getting, as I'm going into the energy, I'm getting um, some Fleetwood Mac songs. Now, a lot of you will know, that not only am I a Swifty, but I'm also a Fleetwood Mac fan, a huge Stevie Nicks girl, in case you can't tell, and especially now I've gone back to being brunette. Um, so the songs that I'm getting is Landslide. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that, um, but it's a really, really beautiful song about love. Um, and sometimes it can be a little bit harsh on the energies of love. Um, but it is a very, very beautiful, beautiful song. Okay. And what are their feelings? Let's have a look at their feelings for you. The landslide brought us down. I cannot sing, by the way. Their feelings for you. What are their feelings? We've got a right mixed match of energy going on over here. Your person is really, um, they're, they're going between the worlds of what they actually want with this situation. So one second they're like, yes, you are the one, you are the person that I want to spend my life with. And then the next second it's like this massive freak out and they're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do about this. It's all getting a little bit serious because this could be the real deal and you're getting they're getting themselves in a bit of a sticky situation so their thoughts and their feelings are kind of counteracting one another at this moment in time and they're not allowing their feelings to come to the surface because their thoughts are saying no you can't do it don't fall in love everything you do that way is going to hurt you if you do fall in love so let me tell you the cards that you've got for those of you that read tarot so you've got the ace of wands over here in the thoughts Okay, we've got the two of cups over here in the thoughts, and then we've got the eight of cups in the thoughts. So your person that you are asking about, thoughts about you at the moment, is there are very strong rooted emotions. There is a love energy. Um, and with that love energy, it makes them feel vulnerable. Okay, so that sense of vulnerability coming up in their thoughts. I want to say that, yeah, I'll tell them that in a second. In fact, I'm going to swap it around. Um, Spirit are saying to me, your guides are saying to me, that um, often they won't tell you about their emotions, but they will act more on a sexual and passionate energy. Okay? So that sexual and passionate energy that comes through makes you guys doubt what your person's real emotions are for you. And this is what gives you those mixed messages. 
and it's like they'll give you they'll go two steps forward three steps backwards and you don't know what pathway you're taking now at the moment it looks like your person has backed away from the situation and the reason for that is again because of this emotional vulnerability so they're feeling very vulnerable around the situation because the emotions that they have for you are very real and um, spirit are saying very grounded and very centered so those emotions overall are feeling very positive okay but with those emotions comes this panic that it's something more than sex it's something more than passionate it's something more than attraction which is the passionate energy is coming up and so they freak out and the and the, and the panic and they kind of either go ghost disappear go silent all of that kind of jazz um other things that could be potentially happening with some of you guys is there could have been conflict and arguments spirit are saying um but they do know that those emotions are very much in their thought process and they want to find a way to make it work but right now they're taking a step back from it to kind of rationalize their thoughts okay so they might be feeling a little bit on an upheaval so that's where their thoughts are so even in their thoughts you kind of got this polar opposite energy like yeah i love her him i love you but i'm panicking about it all um so in their thought uh, their feelings for you you've got the king of swords the nine of cups and the fool so again for those of you that read tarot you'll be like oh that's quite an interesting mix going on it's not all negative in fact it's actually quite positive so we've got the fool over here talking about these new beginnings they're just going to go with the flow of it um their feelings are like let's just see what happens okay let's see where we go here now with the full moon coming up this signifies an ending with you guys and a new beginning so they are ready to take these new beginnings and leaps with you in their feelings if they can get away from this fear of vulnerability okay their vulnerability is frightening them Nine of Cups over here. This is all about their wishes coming true, your wishes coming true. This is talking. We have a bit of a cyclical energy going on with the moon over here. Um, and we have the star as well for wanting it, hope, faith, dreams, realities, everything hitting into their reality. Sorry. Um, that this is something that they want. We also got pomegranate. Now, I don't know if you guys listened to the podcast the other the other week. I was talking about pomegranate and the, a little bit of a history from the, the Greek uh, mythology of pomegranate. Um, is that Aphrodite, the goddess of love, she was seen in Greece as the first, um, she planted the first pomegranate tree. So ever since then, Aphrodite has ruled the pomegranate. Now we know about Hades and the underworld and Persephone and pomegranate there, that's a different story. Okay, I'm just talking about Aphrodite. And so she did that and then she ended up putting like, brides end up putting pomegranate in their hair um, or they didn't in the past because it was this really kind of spring of love and newlyweds would always plant pomegranate trees that's the history of the kind of pomegranate with Aphrodite so we have got this love energy again coming up very very much love energy now as you guys know I'm not a massive astrologer at the moment I am learning through the podcast I'm doing the tarot Jace is doing the astrology um and I am starting to learn, but what Spirit is saying to me is some of your people will be going through a Saturn return. So I'm just going to tell you exactly what Spirit are saying to me. Um, and that can sometimes cause this massive upheaval with them. So they're going through their own shit, basically, at the same time. And that's where the King of Swords is coming in at the end. So your person is very much with their emotions, trying to act on logic, but the heart is ruling at the moment. And that's why the panic came. Did you get it? Okay, so let me just recap in short so you can understand it. Um, just you can see it sense the whole energies. Your person is in love with you, falling in love with you. It's panicking them and they're having a freak out. They act more on sex than their emotions because if they do that, um, then it doesn't mean that the relationship is too serious. But they can see a future with you. They'd like to see where it goes. Um, they are emotionally invested in this, but at the same time, they're just trying to keep logical about it that's it in a nutshell that's it so really kind of positive over here it's just like they're, they're just having a little bit of a panic on occasions over the situation with you guys and that's it in fact i'm going to those of you like i know that some of you do know that i am a, a swifty um and i know some of you don't like swifties tailors um but I did treat myself to this Taylor Swift era of tarot deck and I just want to get a song for you. Um, I know we've got Landslide kind of coming in, which is the emotional vulnerability of your person. We had that at the start. Let's just get you a Taylor Swift song as well because I just want to play with this deck. Can I have, um, can I have a song, please? Okay. Oh, we got the tower. 
ah, and it's gonna be my favorite song isn't it this song is literally my favorite song by taylor swift and it's all too well and i knew that i know that song um and in fact i'm gonna hopefully get it as a tattoo little tattoo under my rib just saying all too well yes i know swifty geek i know you don't have to tell me um <laughs> but it says up here you call me get up again just to break me like a promise so casually cruel in the name of being honest i'm a crumpled up piece of paper lying lying here because i remember it all too well and this song is about memories and what you guys go through and how even in the pain there is still this very strong love and you still have these emotions and you just remember everything all too well so even though this is happening with your person and you might be feeling that you've got a bit of whiplash because their heads and the heart are just navigating you down this weird route and you're like what's going on the love is very very strong and if you haven't listened to this song and you're not a swifty i do if you're feeling that you can have a little bit of emotional vulnerability or you want a good cry um this is a really great song for you guys to just enjoy kind of enjoy it's very intense it's a very very intense song um but don't lose faith all is good you know that there, there is this movement towards you there is this new beginnings this is what your person wants just they their heart's saying yes the head saying yes but i'm panicking a bit and that's it um also with that song the all too well it could be that there's stuff from the past that your person hasn't completely recovered from um which also will scare them with that vulnerability side of things and that's step number one okay so if you need me drop me a message uh, i'll put the deets in the comments for you okay guys deck number two hi 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 if you just tapped in tuned in and turned on uh, welcome to Mystic Love Tower. I hope that you guys are doing super good. Um, and what we're doing this week is your personal thoughts versus their feelings for you. So it's quite an interesting read. So let's have a look. What are your personal thoughts for you? So I'm going to get three for each thoughts, feelings. What are your pers Ooh, person's thoughts for you? What are their thoughts? Two. Oh, jumping out together. Three. Okay, we've got clumpy cards whenever so whenever a, as a reader when we start shuffling we can definitely see what's kind of going on with someone's energy because of the way the cards shuffle so with their feelings and the cards being a bit clumpy it means that they, they they're quite in their head over the situation what are your person's feelings for you which would make sense because that's their thoughts over it right where do we begin here? Let's have a look. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me let me wiggle the chair. This means business. Okay. <laughs> so your person's thoughts about you. There is a sense of I don't know what the F I am doing in this situation. So we have straight off the bat a bit of confusion going on with your person they are a little bit lost and a little bit stuck and not sure what is happening now it looks like you guys could have had let me read you the cards before sorry you've got justice devil nine of cups knight of swords so it looks like there could have been some toxic or more toxic situations that have been going on around you you could be having conflict arguments tension things just going a little bit peak tongue difference of opinions sticky icky nuss happening okay and your person is really up in their head about it so they're really thinking overthinking over analyzing um and potentially saying some things to you really weird just happened behind you i've got some stuff and it just dropped and um, but that's spirit energy so sorry got distracted they are probably going to be communicating to you um some stuff that could be said with a little bit of harshness perhaps not so much empathy, um, acting more on logical stuff. So for example, they could say you're doing, this is an example, you're doing my head in because of blah, and you'll go, what? I don't know I was even doing that. So we have this communication coming in that is quite abrupt and it is quite sharp. So why is that happening? Now with the devil card and justice over here, this is signifying that there's toxic situations that this kind of karmic energy is repeating. So it's likely that you guys could have had past lives together. Um, and if you need me for a past life reading, you can just give me a shout. I'll put the comments, uh, I'll put all the deets in the comments for you so you can, you can hook me up. Hook me up? Check me up Whatever the word is. Um, so you have this energy coming up, you guys, that this is major stuff major major stuff in the thought process we have this fear and this fear is being magnified and it's being magnified because your person can sometimes be a little bit 
in this addictive cycle, addictive behaviour, that toxicity. So you could find that your person does a lot of escapism, like uh, just simple, simple things like alcohol. Well, that's not simple, is it? But simple things like game station, I meant to say, like just playing for hours and hours on end. Um, but you've also got the more serious stuff like alcohols, drugs, sex addict addictions, all that kind of addiction energy happening because your person finds the situation a little bit overwhelming. OK, um, so their communication with you when they're saying these kind of harsh and abrupt things um, is happening because it comes from this place of total codependency with other situations, codependency with other situations and people and this karmic energy. OK, so it's quite a heavy energy to begin with in the thought process of it. The other thing I want to say with you, to you guys with the thought process is that your person always feels that you will be there. They don't feel that you're going to go far, that you will always be there to kind of mop up the pieces of the self-destruct button that they are pressing. Um, and they also know that they are pressing self-destruct on their own lives. It's like self-sabotage self-sabotage and I just got with that as well the song Savage Love by Jason Derulo that just came in as well okay so it is that kind of a devil card energy it is that self-sabotage it is that self-destruct and it is pushing that button and I just got uh, the chemical brothers I think it was galvanized my finger is on the button so it's like they're pressing that button in their life at the moment so when it comes to their thoughts of you the other card over here the the, the, the promising card is nine of cups so whilst they're having this kind of heavier energy, we have got forget me nights on this card, okay? And your person won't want you to forget about them, even though they're, they're going for this kind of darker time, this shadow side, this shadow period, especially as we're going into Scorpio season, this shadow period is really, really going to be hitting and affecting them. And so they're pressing that button, but they're like, don't forget me. Remember that I'm there, maybe in the future. And you, we can be together. And you might find that when they do communicate with you, no matter their harshness or abruptness, um, they might say something to you that's like, well, we could have a future, or I do believe in fate, or something along those lines, whilst not really giving you that level of commitment that you need right now, okay? So with their thought process, I'm just going to tell you guys to just keep your wits about you, okay? Be smart. Okay, um, and if you need me for their thoughts and their private readings, let me know. Okay, so your person's feelings, same kind of energy, okay? So we've got the Hierophant, we've got the Two of Wands, and we've got the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands will be you guys. We're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. Um, but the Queen of Wands will be signifying you guys. So they're seeing in this very passionate energy, this very sexual energy, this very we can do the deed, we can have a bit of fun, um, whilst not giving you that level of commitment with the Two of Wands coming in. So it's like, I don't, I'm going to think about where this could go, but I'm not really going to create much action on it at the moment. I just want to give this non-committal energy and see what happens. I think you're extremely sexy and really like beautiful but I'm not ready for a committed relationship at the moment I just want to play play it just see where I end up now with the Hierophant coming in as well this is talking about a more divine connection which you guys are gonna be like Jesus more divine connection and with justice as well this would speak largely for you guys about a karmic situation okay so you've probably got karma of your person like i said from past lives um you might have karmic people involved in the situation it is just a little bit messy <laughs> debt number two is a bit messy um so what your person wants from this they're just gonna just see where it ends up don't listen to harsh words that are said about you. Don't view that as a reflection on you. It is your person's shit that they might be, um, what's the word, putting on you. You know the word, I've forgotten what the word is. Um, putting that on you, okay? So this is how it is and this is that. And they're not asking your opinion or your thoughts or anything along those lines. It is a more difficult situation. It is a more toxic situation. And I'm sorry to have to tell you guys that. And I know it's probably gonna trigger a couple of you, but if you do need me, like I said, you can just drop me a message, all right? And we can get we can get this situation as fixed up as we can. And maybe Goddess um, might agree to help doing some magic, but obviously I have to check with them first. I have to make sure that uh, they're okay with that. So, their thoughts versus their feelings. Their thoughts and their feelings are on the same wavelength, okay? Their thoughts are a bit shitty. <laughs> their thoughts are, all right, let's see where we end up. Let's just go with it. Um, I'm not after anything serious. 
but I don't want them to forget me if I go ghost. So if, if I do go ghost, I will come back in and check on them. So that's their thoughts. Their feelings are, yeah, you're hot stuff. I'd like to make, you can fill in all the gaps, make love or, you know, whatever they <laughs> fill in the gaps of that. Um, it is a more divine connection. So you have got this kind of very sparky energy between you guys, a lot of passionate connection, a lot of, yeah, passion and sex, um, but not making a choice on it, not making a decision on it um, any time soon. I just did a big eye roll. So what I'm going to do, as I did with deck number one, is I am, those of you that know, I am a Swifty, and this is my new Taylor Swift tarot deck, and I am seeing her next year. I did get tickets. Um, of course, I got tickets because I do do magic, and I was like, right, Taylor Swift, I'm going. Um, so we got, we got tickets, and we're right at the front, so that's super cool. Um, anyway, that's a different story. Let me get you a card for deck number two, just for an overall song for you. Okay. So the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords talks about taking a step back from situations. It talks about travel, talks about going away. Um, and the words are, I'm not sure what song it is. One for the money, two for the show. I never was ready, so I watch you go. Sometimes you just don't know the answer till someone's on their knees and asks you. And that very much is your person's energy. So they weren't, they're not ready at the moment. So they've took a step back from it all. Probably going ghost or just acting a little bit of an arse. Um, sometimes you just don't know the answer. So they're not sure what they want. Um, and then it looks like they've come to this point, this realisation, potentially in the future, that they will want to communicate with you and see if you can go somewhere from the connection. I don't know what song that is. Um, I think it's going to be from either Folklore or um, Evermore, maybe. Um, so you can find it if you want to. Um, but that is where your person is with the situation at the moment, taking a step back from that. Yes, I did. I rolled my eyes again. So if you need me for a private reading, you can just give me a shout. I'll put all the deets in the comments for you. Um, I do same day return on voice note reading. So if you want your answer to your questions today, just give me a shout. Remember, this is a collective reading and private readings are just for you. OK, so they work with your energy and we do it on voice notes on Instagram or Facebook. So if you want your answer today. I can get your answer today. And it is only £10 a question because I try and keep the prices down for you. Um, I also have spaces for video readings if you would like a video reading with me which is just like this um and magic as well if goddess say we can do magic we can do magic if they say we can't then we can't um but most of the time they'll try and accommodate what you need um if it's okay obviously harm to none on that so no karmic energies guys um so yeah that's it Deck two, I'm sorry, it's a bit of a, a bit of a rubbish one for you. <laughs> um, but like I said, message me if you need me. Um, and go check out the podcast if you haven't as well for those free weekly readings and some tips to help you go through the more adverse times. All right, guys, lots of love. See you soon.